Hi guys, welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be talking about some of the changes in KiCad 5.0 in terms of the remapping of symbols and, uh, well, really, let's talk about the benefits first because there, there is a bit of a mess when you're starting to look at stuff. And I'm actually still figuring out a lot of how to, how to best upgrade from version 4 to version 5. There are some changes here. But let's take a look at this real quick. So this is the first thing you're going to see. So whenever you open a version 4 project in version 5, you're going to see a remap like this. And we will definitely talk about that next. But before we did that, I wanted to talk about some of the changes that actually are kind of beneficial about this new library system. So this is a schematic that I've worked on in the past. And I'm going to open up the, uh, the symbol editor here. Right, it's going to load up all the symbols that are all the libraries that are already loaded. Some of them are built in, some of the ones that I added, some of the ones otherwise. And this is much closer now to actually how the footprints are organized. So the first thing I wanted to show you is uh, one of the, the main benefit that I like. It, and this is the benefit that I like between uh, um, the old thing and the old the version 4 and version 5 in the layout program. I think it's actually switched over to this, to version 5's symbol program. Now remember, this is what we're actually making symbols for the schematic. This is the symbolic representation of a thing. So this is a symbolic representation of a uh, dip switch, right? Single pull, single throw. All right, so what I'm going to do, though, is I can actually now right click, copy, go to my library here, which I think is called, not video, which here it is. So this is one of the libraries that I have. And I can actually just go in here, and I can actually paste the symbol in here. And now you see that the, the switch is now in this new library. This is the one that I had. You see that it's it's bolded and it has a little star there. That means that it's not saved yet. And then you can see that the library isn't saved yet. We're actually going to save the library based on uh, based on that stuff. We're going to uh, save the entire library at once every time you add a new symbol. Now that part is still a little bit wonky because you can't separate it out. One of the things that I like about the uh, the footprints is that they're all actually independent symbols. Or they're actually independent files rather that live in a folder, and the folder then is your library. And then the symbol, the footprint itself is a separate file. It's a dot uh, KiCad mod or whatever the footprint uh, file extension is. There's a lot of weird extensions. Uh, so this is kind of moving towards that atomic method of uh, footprint style libraries. Now we're starting to do that in the symbol side. I think that's going to actually keep progressing in 5.1, which we'll be covering here soon. Uh, but that, this is the main thing I want to show is the benefit of doing this. So now, if I wanted to, I could go and copy. You know, if I wanted to make a brand new library, I could do that. I could say, um, you know, I could copy this one in. I could uh, duplicate and, and paste it here, right? Basically, anytime I want to, I could go and paste a new symbol into this library and make a whole new library just of the just of the schematic symbols that I want. The other reason you might want to do that is because oftentimes the ones that are built in these built-in libraries here, you see all these these various built-in libraries, these are often read-only. And that's important, too, because say you wanted to make this where you only have one pin on here, right? So you go and you delete one of these pins. You say, oh, I only want a three-pin switch for some reason. Then you can have your own version that's customized instead of uh, saving it into that symbol library that is the built-ins. So that's all we're actually going to cover here right now. I know that doesn't show much, but I think that is one of the main benefits of uh, doing this. Now, uh, one other thing I can say is the, the older, older way to do this, if you were doing it in the .lib files, .lib, uh, that is the old symbol stuff. That was actually just a literally a text document that said, you know, at the top it would have said symbol one, uh, you know, here's the pinouts, here's their locations, symbol two, here's the pinouts and their locations. And it was just one big flat file. And if you wanted to actually copy a symbol from one library to another, you had to go and actually cut that, that text out of the old file and put it into a new one. Now, some people like that text editing, and you actually can still remember all of the KiCad files are ASCII-based, so you can go and edit those if you want to, but uh, that is a little bit less convenient, I think. So this is just a quick overview of one of the benefits, I think, of KiCad 5.0 library stuff. We'll definitely be going over more of that, including the KiCad 4.0 to 5.0 upgrade path. So if you have any questions, you can go over to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info or the Contextual Electronics forum, forum.contextualelectronics.com, to talk generally about electronics and building your next project. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.